Hi everyone, welcome back. What we're going to do in this lesson is basically we're going to create a threat controller and our route setup. Now the reason for that is if we go to our view right here, everything it's kind of this information that we have right here is just static information. It doesn't come from the database. So this is handled by our home controller if we have the starter template. But what we want to do now is instead of letting it come from that, we want it actually to come from the database. All right, so let's set this one up. So if we go to our controllers right here, you will see you when you, with the theme, you've got a pages controller. That's our home controller. As you can see, this is returning our home view. And if we go in there, you can see all the threads are basically coming from this right here. Okay, so we just want to set this up a little bit differently, but instead of our home control home page right there, what I want to do is I actually want to create a little bit of a different setup. So what we want to do is under the pages we want to create a thread controller that will be able to handle all the show and the create method. So let's create our home thread controller. So what we want to do is open up our terminal, so it's PHP artisan make and what we want to do is we want to make a controller and the controller is going to be under the pages now the reason for this is if someone is looking at my code this is just design preference okay so you don't have to do this you can name it your convention however you want what you're comfortable with now if someone have to come and look at my code they will know everything under the admin that will be admin related and pages. The pages for me is something that the user or the viewer will see in the front side. Okay, so it's kind of how I set up my things. Okay, so under the pages, we will just set up a thread controller. Okay, so I just want to associate the right model with it. So I'm just going to bring in the Threat model as well. Okay, so but it does it's create a resource controller for us. Uh, okay, so if we go under the you will see under pages we've got our thread controller. As you can see, it model bind the thread as well for us. Okay, so now what I want to do in the index method, I just want to return turn a view, and this is basically going to be under threads dot index all right so this is how we can do the setup but if you want to stay with the convention of pages i will actually create a new folder called pages dot threads dot index just to kind of bring a consistency in the work so if someone kind of go over the structure they will kind of know more or less how i set it up on this side so i'll just create a new folder and I'm just going to call it pages. All right. Then inside that, I'm just going to create a new folder again. And that one is going to be threads. All right. And inside the threads folder, I'm just going to create an index.blade.php and a new one called create.blade.php. And obviously, we have the show.blade.php. Right. So index. And if the user want to edit his threads as well, we need to edit that as well. So we've got an index, show, edit, and a create method. Okay. So we got all of that right there under the pages. Okay. So let's go to our thread controller right there. I'm just going to change this to threads.index. Now, what I'm going to do, as you can see, everything in there. So go to our Home controller right there. If I'm moving a little bit too fast, I think I'm moving a bit too fast. Some I think I'm a bit too slow. But you see, under your thread controller, this is what this is. Let me just give it, just remove unnecessary spaces. Now, index method, we just return a view with pages threads.index. Okay, now in our home controller, you will see this right here. Go to your home page.index. Right, copy everything inside that. Okay. I'm just going to do a control all and copy. Then in our threads.index page, 
I'm just going to paste this in there. So don't paste it. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to delete everything except one thread. Okay. So just do that. All right. So what I've done now is I created my controller under pages. Okay. Pages, thread controller. Then under my resources, views, I created a new folder called pages and then threads and then I created three blade files in it, an index, an edit, a show and a create. Okay, so we got those three, but I want to work on the index for now. Okay, so the reason why I created the pages is to be consistent. So if someone comes and they view our controllers, they will know everything under the admin. So if they go to the admin right there, they have their different folders and structures right there. And under our pages, we got our own folders and structures for the people, for the viewers to see. All right. So in our index view right here, I copied everything right there from the home controller and I pasted it in here. Okay. So what I want to do now is let me just close the home controller. Actually, we can delete it, but I will delete it once we finished our our uh, routes okay so in our index of our thread we actually now we just want to pass through the all the threads okay so let's get the threads and then we just want to bring in the thread model okay and we just want to uh, paginate Uh, how many? Let's say we just want in the beginning. Let's just start with five. Okay. So we just want to get all the threads and we want to page in at five. Now, if we go to our model right here, we don't have to include the width statement anymore because it comes with default on the model itself. That's why I can just call the paginate method on it because the width is already included in there. Okay. So I don't have to include it. All right, so let's go to our page.index, this one right here. And what we want to do now is we want to pass that threads variable. Now, what we want to do is we want to do a for each on that, and for each threads as thread. Now uh, this thread, so this one right here, this variable is coming from our controller right here, this right here, okay? So that is thread, and then we just want to bring this up in there, and then we want to pass that thread variable basically like this. Okay, so we're passing that variable to our blade component thread right there, okay? So what I want to do now is, for now, let's leave it as is. It's in our thread uh, component, under our components thread, that one right there. I'm still going to, we're still going to update that in a sec. But first, before we do that, we need to actually see what we're doing. So what I want to do now is I want to create the route for this view right here. Okay, so let's open our web route. So remember, our web route is for everything the person sees in the front. Okay, so what we want to decide, let's go to this right there. We want to decide, must the person be authenticated to see this part right here, or is it available publicly? Okay, so we can decide. For what I'm deciding is the person doesn't need to be authenticated to see all the posts. But the, if they want to click on the post, uh, individual post, this they can, they don't have to be authenticated. They don't have to even be authenticated to see the replies. But the thing is, if they want to reply or they want to like or anything like that, they need to be authenticated. All right. So they can be, we can do that kind of setup. Right, so they don't need to be authenticated. But what I want to them to do is before they create a thread, they need to be verified. I want the emails to be verified before they create a reply or a thread. Okay, so let's go to our index again. So 
they don't need to be authenticated so we don't put any auth on there so let's go to our controller right here so our route so what i want to do is i want to do a group again so i like doing groups just kind of structure everything very nice for us so what i want to do is a prefix and so let's do a prefix let's create an array actually and this is going to be a prefix so what do we want to prefix it by so this is going to be threads okay so we want to do that and we want it to be as so this is basically for our route name so this part right here this is going to be for our name and we want it to be threads dot okay and then inside here we just want to create a function now the function that right there okay so now we got that set up now the next part is we want to do a get round okay so let's just bring in that block code that we created for our admins this right here so if a person wants to just kind of makes it easy all right so that is for the threads and the route will basically be threads like this okay and the url and then that will be threads dot whatever after that okay you just do this okay so that's basically how this route is basically set up so if i do a forward slash right here there will be the threads right there okay so then we just want to bring in the thread controller uh, the controller class just make sure it's imported at the top as you can see it's imported right there so that's all good and then we just want to go to the index and the name will be index so basically this will now be threads dot index okay so that's all set up so now i'm just thinking But now we're just going to leave the home route right there and let's see if we go to the threads right there okay so if we go to our browser we can just make this a little bit bigger like this all right and then we're just going to go to the threads right there now, as you can see we there and it actually shows just one two three four five it just shows five but it doesn't show the pagination because we didn't tell the pagination to render right there or we can use the links all right so let's quickly do that let's change the links right there all right so in our index view what we want to do now is we just want to create another div and obviously we want to add some classes in there but what i want to do now is i just want to render the threads I actually got this the wrong, the wrong way around this need to be threads render all right so we can use the render method or we can use links like this okay all right you can use either or let me just comment the links out so that we can see go to a browser again and if we refresh you can see we got that showing right there but if we do the links method let me just comment that one out refresh and as you can see it shows the same thing now what i want to do i don't want this to be all the way up. i want it to be underneath this so yeah let's go back what i want to do i will just move this up into that diff right here this diff right here and underneath it you will just have the same thing all right so i'm just going to keep the render method and delete the links one so we can have the same thing right there all right so let's see if it looks okay we refresh showing 1 of 50 and then obviously we have the links right there i just want to give some more padding on top just to yeah, I think this looks a little bit 
too much too close together so let's just give a class and a margin top see this already got a gap y i'm just going to give it a margin top of eight and let's see if it works refresh yeah this looks a little bit better for me just to kind of separate the concerns so this and this just to kind of separate them all right so what i want to do in the next video is basically we're just going to set up the individual threads component and display everything that comes from the browser and just i just want to try to keep the videos under 50 minutes as i'm already going over that All right so let's set this the index this view up in the next one All right thank you guys for watching if you like the video please give it a like if you don't please give it a dislike yes Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.